Good morning. It is currently 6.30 a.m. on Tuesday, May 5th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. I was kind of hesitating to do the video today, not because I was planning to skip it, but just because I couldn't quite decide what to talk about. I sometimes have a little bit of a dilemma with these videos in the sense that I feel like generally speaking online, what I like to imagine my online persona to be is positive. I think it's, my, you know, my preference in almost all things would be to stay focused on things that I like, things that I'm excited by and so on, and rather than getting into, you know, things that I don't or things that are upsetting or anything like that. And so, yet with these videos, it's like, it's half journal, right? So do, you know, if there was something that was really bothering me, like, does it make more sense to just get into it? Or does it make more sense to try to just say, okay, well, let's have this be the place where I focus on the lighter stuff. I don't know. Um, obviously, by the fact that I'm talking about this, you can see that I more or less made a decision. Um, so yesterday, basically, there was Twitter drama, which is like, welcome to the Internet. Um, but I don't know, some of the stuff that happened yesterday was like, I don't know, it was more upsetting than usual. Uh, in particular, the whole thing of um, some of the online abuse directed towards Joss Whedon about Age of Ultron was so substantial that he decided to cancel his Twitter account. And it's, I, you know, it, it's like not to be f glib about it, but it's, it's like that, that joke of like, this is why we can't have nice things. And like, you know, there, there are people for whom, uh, you know, I talked, you know, briefly in a non-spoilery way about the movie and I don't need to get into more detail about it, but the the element of the story that has the you know the people who are upset the parts that they are upset about i just flat out disagree with them i mean a lot of what they're upset about comes down to their interpretation of the subtext although to hear them talk you would think that they believe they are the perfect authority on what every single character has in their heart when they say every single line of dialogue. And yet, when they assert their position on those things, I feel like that's not how I read that scene. I'm not sure where you're getting that from. That seems like an oversimplified way to look at it to me. Um, and, you know, so I don't, I don't want to, like, overstate it. I mean, I'm sure that there are lots of people who maybe felt that way about the movie and they're entitled to their opinion and they have their own gut emotional reaction. And that's not wrong to have. But I think as geeks who love this stuff, we sometimes need to remember to keep it in perspective. And that's a weird thing to say because, you know, so often being geeky has has kind of been subverted from the pejorative that it used to be. And now people identify proudly as a geek and it's all defined by their passion for the things that they love. And by and large, I think that's great, but like the internet itself, any, any great thing casts a dark shadow. And uh, so when people get passionate about this stuff, they can really lose sense of perspective. It's like the, the whole idea of headcanon. 
is it bothers me, honestly. Now, I don't want to, you know, people are not wrong to do that, but I think you just have to keep things in perspective. And if you see one of these big movies and there's a part of it that you don't like, I, mean, I just made a weird noise. There's a part of it that you don't like. That's disappointing. Sure, I get that. But that's really all that happened. You know, you were, you were disappointed by an element of a movie. And I don't know. There's too much to say on this subject. I'm not sure I'm going to really cover it in any meaningful way. I'm already over five minutes. I guess what it comes down to is if people are going to attack online, I would rather they attack someone who is actually opposed to them rather than someone who tried to do something good and failed, especially when whether or not they failed is very subjective. And so for a movie like Avengers that has these huge, huge ambitions, it is entirely reasonable to expect that elements of it are not going to please everybody. There are too many people who like these things now. You can't please everybody. And so if you are one of the people who doesn't get pleased, then, I, you know, that's disappointing, sure, but that's all that happened. So you don't need to go and be mean about it on Twitter. It's just not cool. So I guess I feel like I'm preaching to the choir here because probably anyone who's actually watching this is might be inclined to agree already anyway, but... Because I can stand to learn the lesson myself sometimes, or relearn it, <laughs> this is exactly actually what calmed me down yesterday, is my dad pointed out this Twitter drama. It's not exactly like all the people who died in the earthquake in Nepal. And he actually apologized immediately after saying that because he's like, oh, I don't want to imply you didn't know that. And, uh, but I, I kind of did need to hear it. And I think it's as much as I'm trying to say, oh, well, you're disappointed by something in a movie. That's all that happened. You don't need to be a jerk about it. Well, you know, maybe I need to also say people were jerks on the Internet. Maybe you need to not be personally thrown into despair about it. <sighs> anyway, I was pretty upset yesterday. Less upset now, although you can see that it's still a tenuous thing. Be nice to each other, guys. Come on, right? Right? Let's keep this stuff fun to talk about, even when we disagree. It's not personal, right? Okay. Anyway, um, both the video and audio versions of Talking About Survivor are now up for this week. You can find those at ChristianaEllis.com, and uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.